Contributors Benjamin Tucker was the dean of 19th century American individualist anarchists. He served as editor of the influential anarchist periodical Liberty. Many of his essays are collected in Instead of a Book by a Man Too Busy to Write One, 1897. The text of Liberty is available online. See travelinginliberty.blogspot.com for an index. Brad Spangler is the director of the Center for a Stateless Society, www.c4ss.org. Charles Johnson is an individualist anarchist living and working in Auburn, Alabama. He is a research associate at the Molinari Institute, a member of the Industrial Workers of the World, and an alumnus of Auburn University. He has published the Rad Geek People's Daily weblog at radgeek.com since 2001, and is a frequent speaker and columnist on topics in market anarchism, stateless social activism, and the philosophy of anarchism. He can be reached through his website, charleswjohnson.name. Dyer Lum was an anarchist theorist and campaigner. He briefly edited The Alarm, 1892-1893. to a radical labor activist and sometime partner of Voltaire de Clare, he was the author of books on Mormonism, trade unionism, and anarchism, notably The Economics of Anarchy, 1890. Gary Chartier is Associate Dean of the School of Business and Associate Professor of Law and Business Ethics at La Sierra University. He holds a PhD from the University of Cambridge and a JD from the University of California at Los Angeles. He is the author of over 30 scholarly articles in publications including the Oxford Journal of Legal Studies, Legal Theory, the Canadian Journal of Law and Jurisprudence, and The Law and Philosophy, and of three books, The Analogy of Love, 2007, Economic Justice and Natural Law, 2009, and The Conscience of an Anarchist, 2011. He is a member of the Alliance of the Libertarian Left and of the advisory boards of the Center for a Stateless Society and the Moorfield Story Institute. He blogs at liberallaw.blogspot.com. Jeremy Wayland is a software developer and activist in Richmond, Virginia. He holds a bachelor's degree in computer science and German from Mary Washington College and maintains the websites socialmemory-complex.net and leftlibertarian.org. Joe Peacott is a contemporary individualist anarchist. Formerly an active member of the Boston Anarchist Drinking Brigade, he now resides in Alaska. Joseph R. Stromberg is an independent historian whose work is concerned with a broad range of issues related to state power. Carl Hess was an influential anarchist theorist and activist and a vocal proponent of local empowerment. A former speechwriter for U.S. Senator Barry Goldwater, he became associated with the New Left in the mid-1960s. He was the author or co-author of books including Dear America, 1975, The End of the Draft, The Feasibility of Freedom, 1970, Neighborhood Power, The New Localism, 1975, Community Technology, 1979, A Common Sense Strategy for Survivalists, 1981, and Mostly on the Edge, 1999. Kevin A. Carson is a research associate at the Center for a Stateless Society. He is the author of Organization Theory, a Libertarian Perspective, 2008, Studies in Mutualist Political Economy, 2007, the focus of a symposium published in the Journal of Libertarian Studies, and The Homebrew Industrial Revolution, 2009, as well as of the pamphlets Austrian and Marxist Theories of Monopoly Capital, Contract Feudalism, a Critique of Employer Power over Employees, The Ethics of Labor Struggle, and The Iron Fist Behind the Invisible Hand, Corporate Capitalism as a State-Guaranteed System of Privilege. His writing has also appeared in Just Things, Anytime Now, The Freeman, Ideas on Liberty, and Land and Liberty, as well as on the P2P Foundation blog. A member of the Industrial Workers of the World, the Voluntary Cooperation Movement, and the Alliance of the Libertarian Left, and a leader in the contemporary revival of Proudhonian mutualist anarchism, he maintains the site Mutualist Blog, Free Market Anti-Capitalism, at mutualist.blogspot.com, and a set of resources related to mutualism at mutualist.org. Mary Ruart is an anarchist activist, author, and scientist. She is perhaps best known as the author of Healing Our World in an Age of Aggression, 3rd edition, 2005. 
She earned a BS in biochemistry and a PhD in biophysics at Michigan State University before serving as a faculty member at St. Louis University and as a research scientist at the Upjohn Company. She has worked extensively with the poor through her decade-long efforts to rehabilitate low-income housing in the Kalamazoo area and was an active member of the Kalamazoo Rainforest Action Committee. She currently serves as chair of a for-profit independent review board based in Austin. Her internet column, Short Answers to the Tough Questions, is a popular feature on the Advocates for Self-Government website, www.self-gov.org. Murray N. Rothbard was an economist, political theorist, and historian. He was the author of such books as Man, Economy, and State with Power and Market, 2009, The Ethics of Liberty, 1982, and An Austrian Perspective on the History of Economic Thought, 1995. He played a key role in efforts during the mid-1960s to link the anti-interventionist, anti-authoritarian Old Right with the New Left in opposition to the Vietnam War and the draft. Pierre-Joseph Proudhon was a philosopher, social theorist, activist, and member of the French Parliament. Arguably the first person to use the self-description anarchist, Proudhon was the author of many influential books, including What is Property? 1840, The System of Economic Contradictions or the Philosophy of Misery? 1846, General Idea of the Revolution in the 19th Century? 1851, Theory of Property? 1866, and Of the Principle of Art, 1875. Roderick T. Long is a senior fellow of the Mises Institute. He is currently professor of philosophy at Auburn University and president of both the Molinari Institute and Molinari Society. He holds a Ph.D. from Cornell University and a B.A. from Harvard. He is the author of Reason and Value, 2000, and Wittgenstein, Austrian Economics and the Logic of Action, 2011, and the co-editor, with Tibor Makan, of Anarchism slash Minarchism, Is a Government Part of a Free Country, 2008. He blogs at aaeblog.com. Rosa Slobodinsky was the pen name of Rochelle Slobodinsky Yaros, a 19th and 20th century physician and activist who was involved at various points in feminist and anarchist struggles. Her partner was the sometime anarchist theoretician Victor Yaros. She was the author of Women and Sex, 1933. Roy A. Childs, Jr. was a political theorist, historian, and journalist who served as the editor of the Libertarian Review from 1977 to 1981. He was especially well-known as an incisive book reviewer. Many of his essays are available in a posthumous collection, Liberty Against Power, 1994. Sean P. Wilbur is an anarchist theorist, historian, publisher, and bookseller. He blogs at libertarian-labyrinth.blogspot.com and maintains an enormous array of resources related to the history of anarchism at libertarian-labyrinth.org. Sheldon Richman is the editor of The Freeman, Ideas on Liberty, and the author of books including Tethered Citizens, 2001, and Separating School and State, 1994. He blogs at sheldonfreeassociation.blogspot.com. Voltairine de Clare was a feminist and anarchist writer and speaker who defended anarchism without adjectives. Collections of her essays and speeches include The Voltairine de Clare Reader, 2004, Exquisite Rebel, The Essays of Voltairine de Clare, Anarchist, Feminist, Genius, 2005, and Gates of Freedom, Voltairine de Clare and the Revolution of the Mind, 2005. William Gillis is an anarchist activist and theoretician in Portland, Oregon. He holds a bachelor's degree from McAllister College. 